everybody how you are doing good day to you all and welcome back to another episode on blessed on youtube channel today's topic is centered on criminal nigerians nigerians are all criminals i want to discuss this topic in length maybe i will do it in series i will see how it goes but if you are coming to this channel for the first time i really appreciate you if you subscribe to my channel and when you do subscribe hit that notification bell so you get to know when i upload new videos Videos. and to all my viewers to all my subscribers you know i always say thank you so much i really do appreciate your support so nigerians are criminals nigerians are all criminals notorious nigerians here in germany where i'm based it is called nigerian connection i think in the german speaking world or maybe european non-english speaking countries it's called nigerian connection and it means when you are dealing with a nigerian or if someone is a nigerian there's something sinister about them uh, you know that they are not pure they're like just not a good thing it's not a good thing so it's not popularity but it's notoriety like not notoriety is a connotation with to something bad to something evil like like you know you're gonna get bonds you're gonna get duped you're gonna get something terrible will happen to you for associating with a nigerian and i i think it's something that we need to address and i was thinking about this thing especially in the wake of the xenophobia attack in south africa and um what actually triggered this latest incident was not a nigerian actually i have learned that uh, from eyewitness accounts they said it was a tanzanian it was a tanzanian that uh, kind of provoked the whole killing of a taxi driver or something like that and then you know kind of spiraled out of control and who got the bulk of the blame nigerians so uh and at the end of the day we did not see them attacking the drug dealer so to say but we saw legitimate businesses getting burned down grocery stores being looted you know merchandise being carted away so these are not um excuse for anybody to attack anybody it's not what i'm saying but a lot of people who are in support of all those attacks against foreigners we are uh, saying that it was against criminals or there are a lot of criminals of nigerian origin that kind of gave their grievance some kind of a legitimacy if you will according to how they are thinking about it there is a lot of um report from all across the globe about nigerians being involved in crime in drug peddling in love scams in uh, you know all kinds of things so i think this is something that we need to address we cannot just bury our head in the sand and play the ostrich and you know kind of wish it away i think there is something very very bad about this kind of notoriety because whether you are a criminal or whether you are involved in it as long as you are a nigerian it kind of rubs off on you nobody wants nigeria there's an aggressiveness to nigerians there are things that nigerians are doing and i think nigerians need to address this issue otherwise very soon nobody wants you in their shores and um who is going to suffer it is also people from the southeast and the southwest who are the ones going out of the country not the northerners so there are so many hard-working nigerians but these few that are doing all these Ill illegal things are rubbing off so like when you go to the u.s there are so many nigerian doctors nigerian nurses working their ass off in the medical industry nobody talks about them you know it's only maybe when they say fbi arrests like 80 nigerians who are involved in one crime or the other it kind of goes viral you know it makes headline a uh, love scam it makes uh, headlines um the drug dealing that nigerians are being pinned for doing or like nigerians are being show to the world that they are drug dealers nigerians don't own the laboratories nigerians don't produce these drugs nigerians are just peddling like the the bulk of the wealth that is coming from this drug industry is not even in the hands of nigerians so uh, i think that nigerians really need to understand the implications because you you are running away from home of what is going on at home and you are coming out again and you don't want to preserve whatever little and build some kind of generational um 
wealth for those that are coming you know um, in the past we had all this uh, italian mafia and stuff like that they were doing all these kind of things but what did they do with it they they built on it and the generations that came after you know went into other professions they didn't have to do all this so i think that most of the time the thing is not that the people have any intent of doing anything with the wealth that they even want to accumulate they just want to show off on instagram show off on social media spray the money and you know go to club and just do uh, rubbish things and is it worth it is it worth it now that everywhere you go nigerians are being attacked there was a time that malaysia opened their doors nigerians could just come today they use a helicopter to to hunt for nigerians and just pile them up in prisons and stuff like that nobody wants nigeria i think we need to address this issue of everywhere nigerians go that they the bad apples just kind of you know creates scenarios that makes life difficult for other people you know everywhere you turn to even when someone is given um, the benefit of doubt and put in you know prestigious positions they kind of just kind of manage to ruin it and um, kind of uh, removing from public glare uh, the millions of nigerians that are actually doing very well and doing legal things and contributing to the societies that they found themselves so i think that um, the nigerian community will have to answer these questions um i think maybe in in a way those of us that are kind of trying to do the normal thing and live our normal life would it be okay to snitch on the ones that are not you know um is it okay to kind of just close your mind to say you don't want to have any dealings with a nigerian because you know you don't want to be associated with all that, whatever they are doing but at the end of the day if they commit a crime it's going to come back to you you know for me it's very sad to see that the motivation to to commit crime is just to show some kind of opulence to leave some kind of imaginary glamour and that's it you know uh, even if you go and build mansions in the village and stuff like that you can't stay there you can't try there what is the point so i think we really need to address this issue and we need to work on ourselves and we we need to start creating a nigerian community because um everywhere you go you see nigerians they don't want to associate with fellow nigerians everybody say oh nigerians i don't want problem you don't know what everyone is Doing. but like if you don't want to associate yourself and build your own community or you want to go and belong to another people's community the one another people have built you know so we need to do something about it i think this this topic is open for discussion and people should throw in their thinking what they think about it what what can we do those people who are not doing any illegitimate things but are going to be suffering the consequences of the illegalities that the others are doing what is there for us to do how are we going to tackle this and how is it that we can prevent this thing to continue denting the image of hard-working nigerians so that we can i mean life is hard enough for black people but uh, you know we we need to talk about this so i i'm going to leave it open now continue in another video and please do subscribe to this channel and yeah like this video and i will see you very soon in my next video take care of yourselves bye bye peace out